my name is Karina and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys Rio's six month update. The last time I did one of these was when he was four months and I'm going to try to keep it up every two months. I mean, that's my goal. <laughs> and in no way is this like for anybody watching to compare their child to mine. This is kind of just for fun and for me to look back and be like, wow, this is what Rio was doing at this age and this is how he looked at this age. So if you're into that, thank you for watching. I'm also going to eat some hot Cheetos because I have been asking Nathan for these for a few days now. We don't eat them often. So I feel like sometimes when I ask him, hey, can you go get me some hot Cheetos? He'll come back and I only finish like a third of the bag, you know? And this time he was smart. He waited a few days and now I really, really want him. And if you haven't watched any of my videos, I am sitting in my son's room. This is why you see his play mat in the back. But once he's up from his nap, I will bring him and he will kind of just join me here. While we wait for him to wake up, let's kind of catch up. So... These past couple of days, I have been so tired. I'm not even kidding. I think it was the whole family. We went out of town and when we came back, it took us like a full two days to recover. It's not like we were partying and stuff. It was just, we went out a lot, honestly, to eat, to small events and stuff. And we also got out of our routine, obviously. I forgot Rio's hatch, the sleep sound machine. And not that that made a huge difference, but it did make a difference. Like he wasn't in his normal routine. He couldn't really sleep. And when he did, he woke up super, super stuffy. I guess just cause the air quality is different where we were. So I don't know. And then me and Nathan just, well, Nathan's never really on a schedule. And me, I'm normally in bed by, honestly by 10, like maybe 12 the latest. And I was going to bed really, really late while we were out of town just to, catch up with family and stuff so definitely took us a while to jump back into our routine and i believe yesterday was the first day i felt this spark of motivation to do stuff around the house yesterday i finally got to cleaning we unpacked our suitcase i did laundry we did the floors the grass everything in the house so i feel very refreshed today some other fun updates are we were six months right and his clothes he's wearing about sizes 12 months and up that's what i'm buying because typically if i wash the clothes it will shrink a little bit so if i'm buying nine month clothes it's either gonna tightly fit him or he's gonna get just like two or three wears out of it versus if i get him 12 months it's gonna last longer you know what i mean he has a birthday party to go to this weekend i'm so excited my friend's son is turning one years old so we'll be attending that and i'm so excited to watch him interact with other babies because right now rio's the only grandchild in our family and i guess it's good because he gets all the attention but bad because he's only interacting with adults you know he's only hearing adult conversations i just want him to interact with other babies or kind of just see other behaviors and for him to pick up on that so that'll be fun also i don't know if he's going through some type of sleep regression maybe huh like at six months they might go through one because he's completely not on his schedule i thought by now he would be on one and I've said before, he's typically on like a 9 to 9. He goes to bed at 9, wakes up at 9. Lately, he'll go to bed between 8 and 10 p.m. And then he wakes up at 6. <laughs> and it's funny because I could never relate when people on TikTok, especially. I would see a lot of TikToks that say, if you're going to have a kid, um, prepare to never be awake. Or prepare to never sleep in past 7 a.m. And every time I would see stuff like that, I didn't relate. I would kind of question it you know my baby doesn't sleep in i mean doesn't wake up until about 9 a.m am i lucky i don't know and then god said you're questioning it boom <laughs> Rio started waking up at 6 a.m which is totally fine because nathan watches him that early but then i don't want him to start going to bed at 6 p.m you know what i mean the doctor said he weighs 20 pounds and he's was it 27 inches long because i remember saying it's a little bit more than two feet i think 27 or 28 inches long but that's amazing sometimes when i'm holding him i even tell nathan like look look i'm holding him and his leg is way over here and his head's over here i feel like i'm holding a mini toddler sometimes and now with our backyard completely i guess renovated now that it's all nice and we can be outside and stuff i'm so excited to soon get him a little splash pool i don't want to get him a full pool yet because i picture like our bath time when we place him and he can sit up really good but 
he slips on the floor because it's so wet <laughs> like there's no grip we normally have to put down a towel under him in the bathtub so anyway i i mentioned that just because when i think of the pool i think about the bathtub like how is that going to translate into the pool you know will he need some sort of grip at the bottom so instead of getting him a pool I, i've seen on amazon and on target like a small splash pool with some back support if he's sitting in it it's literally like two inches tall maybe not two inches i'm exaggerating but it's super tiny you know the height is super small and it's just like a small puddle where he can be splashing and that's so cute something i do want to talk a little bit more serious about is raising a covid baby and how hard it has been i feel like when rio was a lot younger around i say a lot right he's only six months old but when he was around three months i remember questioning like if i should take him to target with me and if i should take him to do small errands with me actually out of the car i immediately thought about covid like how clean are the carts how is how, how are people gonna look at me or see me alone with a baby are they gonna think i'm wrong for taking him out it was just a lot of trying to please people and trying to do the right thing in the beginning versus now especially now that he's six months i'm seeing the benefits of taking him out for example i went out a few weeks ago with a friend and her son and it went really well we were outdoors yes we ate and stuff but it went well and he was able to kind of see the outdoors mind you he was having a little breakdown but he needs things like that to be exposed to you know and I feel like there's a lot of judgment around that, especially with babies. And although COVID is going away with the vaccines and all that, people still have a lot of judgment. And if they see you out with the baby, it's kind of like, why are you bringing him out? Or it's kind of like, why would you do that to your baby? You know, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable taking him out. Like I mentioned, um, while we were out of town, we did take him out to restaurants and stuff. And I felt pretty good. He did get a little bit sick, I'm not gonna lie. And that was the first thing that popped in my head was does he have covid although you don't want to put that in your brain and then something go wrong because it's like you're manifesting it right but that's just a, a truth that's something you have to face like it could have been a possibility luckily it wasn't he's completely fine the doctor checked him and everything and said he was perfectly healthy so that really eased my mind but i mentioned all those things because even like with now what like a whole year plus some months into covid being a thing it's still a big burden almost it's it's like a lot of stress just to take him out and think about those things especially because your family can't tell you what's right or wrong you know they can they can advise you but ultimately they didn't raise a child during this whole pandemic so there's a lot of information out there people kind of do their own thing figure out what works for them so i don't know i'm just kind of venting <laughs> About you being able to pivot on your tummy reach for toys how you sit up so good by yourself you can sit up so so good you want some toys have your car oh my goodness you have some blocks oh. Oh. and you have where's all your rings you love these right now I feel like these are really developmentally appropriate for him. <laughs> Once he does um, get on his belly, he starts pivoting, you know, to reach all those toys around him. We're also working a lot on transitioning in and out of sitting because I want him to understand if you lean forward, like your legs are still in the way between you and that toy. Example, he's really wanting this toy. What we would do by this side. Side, 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 where's this way? There you go. Now reach for it. Here. Hello. Hello. Oh! <laughs> I try to not do all the work for him because I do want him to learn. If I'm doing it all for you, you're not going to learn on your own, puppies. You're so interested in looking at yourself, huh? That's you, puppy. 
That's real. ¿Quieres estos? Do you want these? They're over here. Come get them. Oh, good job. You're gonna roll over to try and get them. Oh, man. Well, I think I'm gonna close out the video here. If you did like my content today, please make sure to like this video and please subscribe to my channel. It'll mean so, so much to me. I will catch you guys. Well, we, me and Mr. Rio, right? Baby, we will catch you guys in our next video. Bye.